life at the Chesterfield Mall moving forward. The mall is getting $2 billion dumped into it to transform the old mall into downtown Chesterfield. And the developer hopes to begin demolition next August. But until then, some of that vacant space is being be, being put to good use. And only First Alert Force Caroline Hecker was allowed inside. Tonight, she gives us a look at how local first responders are using that space. 3332, respond to a first alarm. It looks and feels like the real deal. Firefighters suiting up and grabbing their gear. But these hoses are filled with air. And the smoke? A simple fog machine. It's all a series of drills for firefighters with Monarch Fire Protection District and Metro West Fire. It allows us variability. It allows us to try different things and different techniques and challenges the crews in different ways. The footprint of the former Macy's store offers plenty of square footage for a variety of scenarios. Developer Michael Steinberg says plans for a $2 billion downtown Chesterfield at the mall site include remodeling the Macy's store. Rather than leasing it ahead of the project getting underway, Steinberg decided to forego the profit and offer the space to local police and fire departments. This is a vacant building. You can't hurt it. You know, we're going we're gonna to renovate it, so it's not going to be hurt. And we thought it was important to be part of the community. In this scenario, firefighters wind their way through an old storage room filled with smoke, the warm orange glow leading them to the fire, extinguished by a laser. But perhaps the most beneficial training of all comes in the form of a working elevator. That's a good skill that we don't ever get to practice. Uh, offices and hotels don't typically want us to take their elevator out of service. So this is a great opportunity for that, for the crews to get hands-on training. Other than that, yeah. The elevator yeah. car is stuck between floors as firefighters make their way onto its roof. They then open the hatch to the inside, lowering a ladder, bringing those trapped to safety. All thanks to this public-private partnership. In Chesterfield, Caroline Hecker, First Alert 4.